I did it. I, I, I actually did it. It's alive. It's alive. <laughs> 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 oh, I really like that noise. Hello, 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 and welcome back to another episode here on the Hermitcraft server with me, Science ZF. That's right, I had to put my, my lab coat on, my lab specs on. There's potions flying around everywhere, and that is true. Think Well, it's kind of semi-true. We'll get into it, but uh, between episodes, I have been very, very busy building the Combruta. Yes, indeedy. Thank you very much, Jack, from the last episode. <laughs> um, we are going to be uh, showing this off because I think I've got it almost working. You know, almost, it, it's it's one of them, th it's not done, of course, it's never going to be done, but it's very, very, very close, and I think we can get to see uh, the brains of it working today. So uh, let's jump straight in, shall we, and check out the Combruta. I love saying that, it's, it's a lot of fun. So to begin with, um, let's talk about the water spurters. What did I call them last episode? I've forgotten. But uh, we are going to stick with nine of them, and as you can see from this little overhead uh, view here, we're going to have water, 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 uh, nether wart, Ingredient, in eye of the fermented eye, that's the one. Um, glowstone or redstone, gunpowder, dragon, breath, boom. So that should work out just lovely. And uh, you'll see that I've had to push um, the water bottle uh, ones back by like two, three blocks just so that they'll add in this front hopper instead of this middle one. Um, but these six over here, they'll all go straight into the middle because they're all everything. So uh, I had a little bit of a, a brainwave between episodes as well. And you'll see um, by this chart, I'm very, very scientific today, cutting away to all different kind of explanation things. You'll see here are all the different 15 potions we can make and you can see the three steps or potential three steps that it will take to make so some of them or all of them nearly take nether wart then they take their main ingredient and then some of them also take um, an inverting fermenting fermented spider eye to also change it so uh, that's kind of what this whole middle back section is doing here um, you can see I've tried to make like color coded wires as well so uh, the water bottles are blue based um, redstone we've got um, the nether wart is the, is the the red bit sneaking up the side here. Um, you got the fermented spider eye is orange, and then just the regular potion stuff is this kind of like um, in stripes, the purple, pinky purples all the way at the back. And as you can see, this place is an absolute crazy spaghetti filled thing. Oh, spaghetti. Um, and yeah, it, I, I think it works. I don't know. I've kind of like plugged it all in, um, but I've not really tested it yet because that is what I want to do um, together with you so that you can watch it absolutely blow up in my face. But we need things, we need stuff to be able to put in there. Here, I got things and stuff. Okay, um, yeah, we need to try and get as many kind of ingredients and stuff as we can because obviously to test the redstone, um, we've got to make sure that we're actually getting the right outputs of ingredients. So when we push the certain button, the certain uh, ingredients come through. What else am I missing? Okay, glass bottles are a definite. Um, we're going to need lots of those. Um, boom, 63, perfect, beautiful. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Um, I don't really have that many other stuff. I think it would all be in here. I guess, uh, yeah, I've got some gunpowder. Let's take some of that. Um, some regular eyes. Good. We might need to ferment you. How do we ferment you? Oh, we got to uh, sugar, sugar you. Put some little sweetness on and then put a little tasty mushroom or two. We got some mushroom. We got two. We got 14 of them, actually. Um, and what else was it? Some sugar. Do I have any of that? Of course I do. These eyes are going to be delicious. <laughs> Remind me never to buy the Minecraft cookery book. Okay, let's ruin some carrots. Um, oh, I've not got that much gold. Okay, let's only ruin half the carrots we have, and then half of the melons we have. Beautiful. Perfect. Um, is there anything else there? Oh, the fermentation. fermentation. <laughs> I cannot say that word today. Um, brilliant. Okay, good. This is looking like a nice mixture of stuff. So um, let's look into how this works exactly. So we've got night vision and invisibility here. Two uh, potions. Very, very similar. Um, this one requires wart, then sugar. No, it doesn't. This one requires wart, then golden carrot. This one requires wart, golden carrot, and then a fermented spider eye to flick it around. So let's just take a little look at what's happening. So first off, every single one has a lamp underneath it, and that is being read by this um, observer here. So whenever we push the button, boom, we get a pulse 
out of here. Um, now, all of these link together along this red route, because remember, this is the this is the Netherwart route, the red one. All of them, except for this very end one here, it reaches here, but 15 signal strength ends right about here, so it doesn't actually reach the end. So every single one of these potions, except that furthest one, will trigger um, this piston, go through here, up it goes. This just basically um, stops the, the double pulse coming through from the observer. This just turns it into one single pulse. Up we go, doopy doopy doo, all the way into this first one here, which is going to have the nether wart in it. Beautiful. Okay, we, we, we're making progress. You'll see back here, I've also had to like zigzag um, each individual uh, button push. So this button um, affects this dust and gets taken down that way. Whereas this button affects the dust up here and gets taken up this way. And then it literally just alternates all the way along um, with one being higher, one being lower, just so that we can keep each button press um, individual, because obviously each one is going to need a uh, different ingredient. However, uh, these two both take a golden carrot, so they're next to each other, which is why this line here joins up with this line and goes do 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 all the way into this uh, dropper right here and golden carrot. Boom. Perfect. I also do want to try and get um, a little frame on here. Um, can I borrow one? Can I borrow one golden carrot? I think I can spare one. We can, we can ruin some more in a minute. Um, boom. Just like that. So I know, I know now that this is the golden carrot one. Um, whereas, let's take a look at the one next to it. So that's both of them sorted. Uh, swiftness and slowness. Okay, this is the same. So these, this one is both war and sugar for both, but then you also have to add a spider eye for the slowness. So let's, uh, let's follow that one around. So you'll see that these two, no, where is it? That these two join. Oh, maybe I've missed a bit. I think this one actually needs to come out and join this this uh, one here going into this dropper, so this was the sugar. Brilliant. Let's take one again and put it on the uh, put it on the wall, just so that we're aware of exactly what we need to refill that with whenever. Brilliant. Okay, so I, I do need to hook this up um, to this one. Ooh, that's gonna that's gonna be tight. But like we mentioned before, we're also gonna need to add um, a, a fermented spider eye to some of these, and it actually turns out you only need to use four of them. Um, for all 15 ingredients to turn it. So the orange line is fermented spider eye. You'll see that it's uh, turning our uh, potion of night vision into invisibility, because that is also joining up there. And it's turning our potion of swiftness into slowness by going up here. These join up. The orange one goes all the way around the back. Um, the other two uh, is this one here, the potion of harming. It's a poison potion that's then been inverted. And also weakness is the weird one. That's the one that doesn't need any nether wart at all. Um, so that just joins up and joins onto the orange one as well. So if we get all the way back up there, that might be the easiest option. You'll see all the orange line all adds up, all four of them, into this dropper here. Fermented spider eye. Let's grab one out just so that we're aware. Though this one's pretty easy because this has got its its own water stream. Whereas all of the ingredients, it's like 12 or something vet, um, different ingredients, all go for that middle, that middle one. So bam! Shablamo, rotate your eyeball. Is there an up and a down for a, for a severed fermented eyeball? I'm not sure. That way looks upright to me. <laughs> so yeah, you'll see down this middle one here, um, if we can jump on top. If we can jump on top, which apparently I cannot, um, you'll see, yeah, look, there's those are bubbles, but there's also uh, like 12 different um, droppers all the way down for all the different ingredients. So I've got to shove all of those in there um, and make sure all the redstone is fully hooked up. Uh, and then we'll see if the right bits and bobs are coming out. But that is basically how this whole control panel works. Um, each one does a nether wart, maybe. It does a main ingredient. And then it also maybe does a fermented spider eye as well. I hope all that makes sense. Um, I think I managed to find a quite a simple way of, of pulling it off. So relatively happy there. But yeah, let's put the ingredients in before I get too cocky and <laughs> start saying that I've done it all well. Because we never know what's going to happen. Lovely. That is all of them, including rabbit feet. Definitely, definitely rabbit feet. And uh, turtle shells there as well. Completely and utterly turtle shells in every single way possible. I had all the ingredients. Yay. Um, there is one more which is up there, and I think the only way I can get to it, because um, all the other sides are blocked, is actually via the water tube up top. Yeah, every time I'm going to have to come in and go like this, try and reach the the edge of the thing. No, don't rotate that round. Oh, we, no one can see it anyway. Boom. I, I made it. Phantom membrane there in that very top dropper. Beautiful. Oh yeah. I had all the rest of the other ingredients in my, uh, my second storage room. So that was good. Let's get a little blue now, shall we? And talk about the, uh, the water bottle side of things. So it's all dark blue over here. There's some light blue stuff going on. 
um, as well. So obviously this lets us to choose between one, two or three potions. And uh, the minute you can see all three are on and um, using the redstone that we did last time. But if we switch this thing down to one, you'll see one or two rather one light goes out. And you'll see now that this piston has dropped down. This light blue line now only has one dropper, two dropper, but not this third dropper here because that blocks down. And if we reduce it down to one potion, you'll see that piston went down there as well. So neither of these are getting used, only this one. So if we fill these up um, as much as we can, ha -da, da 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 with water bottles, get loads and loads and loads. Beautiful. Oh, where's the thing? I was hoping I could reach it from there. We just chuck a bunch in um, to all three of them. Uh, now, I have actually th thought of a way that we could do this with storing them in glass bottles and filling them automatically. But for now, we're just going to put in the uh, the full glass bottles um, of water already made because that's just easier. And, you know, it's already getting a bit spaghettified and I'm getting a bit confused and stuff. And we want to see this thing um, in action ASAP. So that is how that side works. And if we check out the other side, it's very, very similar as well. Oh, I need the stuff. Hold on. So we need uh, we need glowstone. Um, gunpowder. I haven't got any dragon breath still, um, boom, but that should work out quite nicely. So, um, we got yellow for the, uh, glowstone or redstone, um, checker. We got green here, which is the power line. Oh, it's also confusing. I'll get into it in just a moment. So, uh, which one is selected? The redstone is selected, um, but this piston here is up, so that isn't the redstone one. Uh, but this is the redstone selected, so this is being powered. So this is the redstone dropper. Let's put, um, not item frames in there. Item frames on there. Thank you very much. So we've got redstone in this bottom one. We've got glowstone in this top one. And we should just check that out, that um, this piston goes down. And that piston retracts when we swap it over to be the glowstone. So, boom. Switcheroo. Glowstone now. And, yep, this piston has gone down, completing the green circuit to this top one, and this piston has gone back, breaking the circuit to this bottom one. Beautiful. So, uh, yeah, what you can see here, the green line basically comes off of this uh, main line. So when any of the 15 buttons are selected, um, power also comes through here and will uh, go into either one of these depending on if one is selected. Obviously, if we select the glass one, like so, which is, is not glass, it's just nothing, nothing at all, um, then that one goes up and that one gets retracted as well. So that's exactly the same as the water buckets, except this side, it is the light blue line. Um, so you'll see here, we take a sneaky little light blue line out of any of the buttons that are pushed. It goes all the way down under the ground, um, up and over this side and into one, two or three water bottle dispensers. The thunderstorm is back. So let's test it out. It's time to try for the very first time. Now, um, I've added a lot of time up here. This is the other bit of the blue line. Um, it goes through a bunch of waiting up here so that all of the ingredients from all of the uh, individual shoots can basically come up this bubbly bit um, and then sort of float across and land uh, exactly where they need to land. Ah, ha, ah, bubbly. Now, last time we did figure out that um, the one on the outsides here need to be right up against that edge. Uh, this middle one can kind of be anywhere, but, you know, roughly there. I'm going to put it in from this side. Um, and this one has to be on this inside edge, so this has to be over that side. So it got a little bit cramped around here. Like, when this piston goes off, this water is being held back by the slime block or the piston head. It's a bit scary with all the... Uh very precious redstone <laughs> down below that I do not want to have to redo um, again. But that is the same for every single side. You'll see these little water bubbly shoots that just managed to put the item pretty much around there somewhere. Um, ready to be thwumped all the way along um, and fly exactly where it needs to go. So we're actually going to cut this off here. We don't want the, uh, the slime block pushers to activate just yet. We want to make sure everything gets put in the correct spot. So uh, we're going to go, yeah, we're going to go three bottles. Um, we're gonna go, uh, redstone dust, yep, to extend the time, um, and we're gonna go gunpowder, but not, um, the dragon face, so which one should we do? Let's, I guess let's do the first one, um, we've, a lot of these are just water bottles, obviously I had only a few of them, um, in, so let's try and, let's try and get the rest of them to be properly the right one, so let's do a night vision, um, so if we press that, ha. Huh. Lots of things happen, and if we go up above, we should find every single one of those ingredients in the right spot. If we don't, I'm gonna cry, all right? Uh, I, I know it. So, oh, okay, one water bottle lined up against the right side. Another water bottle there, and another water bottle there. Beautiful, that's good. Um, nether wart, yes, we need some of that. A golden carrot, perfect. 
Uh, we didn't need a, a fermented spider eye. Good. Empty. Very, very nice. A redstone and a gunpowder to make it splashable and no dragon thingy because we did not select that yes it's perfect okay and then we can press this button here to uh, send them or let's let's connect the line back up again hit this they'll all fly in order i hope let's look yes 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 <laughs> and uh oh uh oh da Bottle mist. Oh, we might need to put a hot one of these hopper things down here as well. Okay, but ultimately, nether wart. Very, very good. Then that, then that, then that. It's in the correct order. Everything's going through. Best noise in the world. <laughs> and we have ourselves, or we will have ourselves, um, a night vision potion. Fantastic. It worked. <laughs> Well, I successfully made one of every potion type that I could, and it did not fail one time! It failed twice. But I don't know why, um, <laughs> I think, I think I found a little issue in the redstone. It's fixed now, not a problem. Um, the, other than the decoration though, this thing is really nearly finished. I'm incredibly happy with how it's looking, um, already. I do want to try and keep a lot of the, uh, inner workings on display. Remember, this entire thing is going to be surrounded. It's going to be, it's going to be engulfed in a massive aquarium. Every little nook and cranny that fish are going to, fish are going to be there, right here. F a fish is going to be just under there. It, they're going to be able to swim in and out of all of this as much as possible. I'm going to try and make loads of it glass and the rest of it water on the outside. Um, so it's going to look pretty cool, but the very middle bit inside here, definitely want to go for that kind of computery-ish look. So we want to see all of the wires and circuitry back there as well. Um, and I also think like colourful stuff like this kind of look good with the potions too, because obviously all of these potions are kind of different colours. I mean, I say that, the little shimmery effect makes them all look purple, but you know, some of them are slightly more orangey purple or pinky purple. This one's even purpley purple. <laughs> so I think having all the different colors on display along with the white quartz gives it a kind of laboratory computer slash aquarium vibe. That's kind of what I'm going for here. But there is one final little piece to this puzzle um, that I want to try and super quickly implement before we uh, see the final thing in all of its glory. And that is what we were talking about before. So for instance, uh, what's a good example here? Um, healing, where's the healing one? Here. We cannot have a healing potion that lasts longer, right? We cannot add time to a healing potion. It just doesn't work. So what I want to try and do now is add a little pop-up thing that, that whenever we've selected one of these, so say, ha, we select plus time, that in front of, for instance, the health one, something goes, no, you don't press this button, you idiot. You, you can't make a long he healing time. That's stupid. And that is the final piece. And I think it should be quite easy. Using the power of armor stands. Yes, indeed. There's an Enderman. Oh, I had them in my inventory anyway. <laughs> that wasn't much of a surprise. We are going to use these guys uh, to create a little bit of a of a, of a warning message. So uh, I've got some pistons down here um, that are plugged into the yellow circuitry here. We've got two different lines. One coming off the redstone. Um, one coming off the glowstone here. And they go to different pistons. So if I park all my way up... You shall see that the uh, it's on nothing at the minute, so they're all down. But if we put it onto red stone like so, then these three and these three go up because they are the potions types that cannot have redstone go into them. And I will add these guys on top. Then we move it to glowstone. They go down, but these two go up instead as these are the regen and the water breathing. Is that right? That's not right, but now it is because they're in the right positions, whoopsie. So uh, what we've done is we've gone and put some glowstone on the ones uh, that need the glowstone. Boom, 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 and redstone on the ones that need the redstone. We're renaming them warning as well, like so, which means these things are going to pop up. Uh, so it's on nothing at the minute, so everything is fine. But if we try and put some extended time on, which is the redstone, these two potions, the healing 
and the Harming are both like, no, warning, yeah, redstone, we can't have redstone, so they have popped up. And as you can see, um, if I put carpets along all of these signs like this, um, you can't see them when they're under the carpet, but you can when they poke up through. And then obviously if we switch it over to glowstone, all the glowstone ones come up and the redstone ones go down as well. It's really cool, so hopefully they'll be completely hidden away. Um, and it's just a nice little warning system to be like, hey, don't press this button right now. No, don't press it, even if you want to. Warning, glowstone is turned on. So you can, of course, put them all away as well. Beep, beep, boop, if you ask me. Beep, beep, boop, indeed. Yes, we are looking pretty computery now. We got our massive uh, brewing stand down under here. I'm going to add some more stuff down here later. I'm thinking some water, but maybe also like some computery looking parts. I don't know. I think we might add some redstone down there that does nothing other than sell the computer. Look, we got our lovely colourful windows up here. We got all the courts around the edge. We got a little access door. Every good computer needs an access door. This is like the 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 CD drive <laughs> or something. No, it's a USB port. What am I talking about? Oh, I need to I need to get with the times. We got our water selection, our other selection stuff as well. It's looking pretty cool. I can't wait until this thing is completely um, glassed up as well, like we've got this big staircase, the staircase should work out really nicely um, to bring us open to like a doorway here that we can come in through the thing. Fish, what do you think? What do you think? It's looking pretty good, isn't it? I'm liking it, I'm liking where it's going. Still a lot more work to do, but I'm telling you, this is a big project. Honestly, this is like all of the other projects I've done in the base combined into one in terms of size, so pretty happy with this indeed. <laughs> Well, there we go, everybody. That is it. The Combruta is completed, sort of, kind of, mostly, sort of. <laughs> thank you very, very much for watching. A massive, massive thank you to my wonderful patrons as well, whose names are all over the screen right now. These people have helped to make this episode possible by supporting me, supporting the channel. Love you all very much. Do appreciate it. But until the next episode, a beep, a boop.